Hello, James here, and if you wonder what sort of accessories I have for the Ionic 5 and some slight modifications, then we're going to go through them today. So we're going to start off with third-party stuff, and then we're going to go on to official accessories, including ones that have been um, professionally installed by Hyundai themselves. So to start with, I've got a couple of accessories from Best EV Mods online and they've actually kindly sent me a few samples to test out. So the first thing we're going to go through is this tray which goes in the centre console and they've also given me a badge as well. So we're going to go through, the, uh, through it and then test it out and see how well this works in the UK. So what I'm most excited about is this centre console because in here, this is how my centre console looks and it's just a basic jumbo of stuff that I just chuck in there that's useful. Your general sort of tap that you'd uh, throw in your middle console that you might find useful for a road trip. I'm going to take this out, replace it with this and organise it and see how it looks. So there's a little tab here that you can lift up and put on by these little uh, studs that go into the little holes that are there. So there's no studs at the bottom, so it just sits on top. And it fits nicely, actually. It's not too bad. Yep, seems to fit. And then if you want it out, it's basically just a tray, isn't it? So it's quite straightforward. Uh, I've got these matte things as well with it. Slightly sticky, but the resistance on them. Uh, that must go in here like so. I take it this one goes here, and this one there, and this one here. That was easy enough. And organizing wise, let's see what we can fit. Right, cards here, charge my Hyundai card. Cable, USB A, an old type A. I don't even know what I use this for. <laughs> That's probably why it's in here, because I'm not using it. Uh, let's see, USB pen, it fits in there. Another USB, what else did I have in here? Oh yeah. Some lip balm, I think that is. Let's see how well coins fit in. So pound coin, oh, actually, that's pretty neat. So pound coins can fit in there. So these, this is what we'd use mostly as pound coins in the UK. I've also got two 50 pences. How do they fit? Not quite, I mean, in the little slant there. There you go. So from this to this, which is pretty neat. So the other thing I was thinking was, uh, if what happens if you lift this up? Oh, actually, I thought it was 90 degrees. It's actually 75 degrees-ish height. Back down, open it up. Overall, not too bad. So if I was to close that, I mean, I was expecting coins to fly out and around. They're still in the, the little holder bit, which I'm quite surprised. So, but because I know there's coins in there, I wouldn't actually lift it that, that hard, would I? I mean, I was probably giving it a go there. So if I lift it up gently, just to get into this center console here, then everything stays where it is. That's pretty neat, actually. I really like that. Oh, I actually forgot to say that this video isn't actually sponsored by Best EV Mod. They just asked me if I'd like to review the pro some of the products. And I said, uh, I'll give my honest opinion on them. And I must say, I really like this one. This is absolutely awesome. So the last accessories that I got from Best EV Mods are these. And these replace the emblem at the front and rear of the car. It's probably something that I wouldn't install myself because I've got the Project 45 and I want to keep it original. I mean, it's lightweight. It's got a sticky thing at the back. So you peel that and uh, stick it on. The Ionic guy, he actually installed these and he seems to like them. But um, they're not really for me, so, you know, if you do want them, you can get them. And if you want to know how to do it, he has a great video on how to do that. Um, yeah, so that's my honest opinion of these accessories. So if you like any of the items from Best EV Mods, I'll put a link in the description below. 
Uh, so affiliation links, so I'll get a little kickback, so that will help me grow the channel and hopefully help you guys decide if these items are good for you. And for me personally, I like this centre console holder. The fact that the coins didn't go flying, which is uh, pretty neat, just because of the angle of this, the maximum angle of this um, centre console lifting up. If you like what you see so far, please hit the like and subscribe button as it will help to grow this channel and also help me to create more content for you guys in the future. So one of the other mods that I've got for the car is to put chair protecting like floor mats on your chair. But instead of putting it in a chair, I've applied it to the car here. And the reason for that is the seat belt because um, the seat belt can rattle depending on how it goes. Let's get out the let go of the seat belt and basically when I'm driving it kind of rattles along here and I have to get out and basically turn it this way so this tab is facing it. So this now has a guard. I've actually applied four here because if this goes across this way then it reaches the end point here and this bottom bit is to protect the metal bit from Buying. so that kind of covers that whole area so yep that's a quick easy fix and that will save me getting out of the car 50 percent of the times just because the kids took off the seat belt and didn't um, adjust it in the right direction so if there's an opening for a seat belt designer in Hyundai then I think I've actually got the job thank you very much so on here some of you might notice there's a little fridge magnet holder this one here had this for a while, had it since I had the Nissan Leaf and this actually slots into the air vent here quite nicely and you can basically stick your phone on there yeah but mostly I have the phone just here because it's, it's a good good place to put it and it's out of the way and the last accessory for well I mean it's not that functional but it's still an accessory I suppose is these little square fridge magnets which can attached onto here. I've still got my Space Invader there, the Ionic, the four dots sign there as well, for some reason. And I've still got that many magnets left to play with. So, you know, if you like your pixel design, like I do, then you can actually create your own sort of like uh, pixel artwork with them. So onto our official accessories. Number one is the rear mat. So this mat guard is quite handy, been used quite a bit already. And it just fits in snugly. And it's got a Ionic logo here, it just says Ionic. It doesn't say Ionic 5. And also there's this neck cage thing that came with the car, which is actually quite handy. It helps hold down the coffee machine. So we have these official mats and then we've got these little holes there and it basically clips on, stops it from sliding around. It's pretty neat. So this is the material and we actually got this free with the car, the dealer at DSG, uh, threw it in for us for free, which was great. But we also bought the weather ones. I actually don't use this one. This actually sits underneath the boot, so it's out of the way. But the one that I've been using is this one, which we bought off them as well. And again, it's got the little clips there to attach on and the clip on this side to stop it from moving around. Next, we have these mats. We've got the normal cloth one, which is this one here. It doesn't have any logo on it. And we've got the winter sort of like uh, rubber mat here, which is the one that I use the most. And if you're getting these, you've got to make sure you get the right one from Hyundai. There's two versions. There's one that has a cut out here and the other one doesn't. And the reason for that is the center console only moves in certain models. So make sure you get the right one. So when the console goes back, it kind of covers over the hole that's uh, there. The last two official Hyundai accessories or mods, I suppose you could call them. Um, we'll have to wait till nightfall to check those out. And yeah, I think they're probably one of the coolest features of the car and probably one of the handiest ones as well in certain situations well especially at night time the first night time accessory is the lead footwell illumination and this is the classic white version that i've got 
And as you can see here, it kind of lights up the foot world. So when you're driving along, you can it makes the it makes the cabin a little bit more airy, and a little less claustrophobic, I suppose, at night time. It's been illuminated by these LEDs here, uh, with a diffuser on it. Uh, I wish the spread was a little bit better on them, but overall, it's a nice effect. Now, my favorite accessory is the lead boot and tailgate light and it creates this really nice halo effect in sort of like a dark uh, car park and also has these little tiny LEDs that shines down into the boot which makes it easier to look for things. This next clip will show you the practicality of the tailgate light and why I find it actually very useful for long trips. That we're in this uh, dark car park. I thought I'll show off the rear boot light that I got installed. Here we go. Makes a lovely halo effect on the floor. And excuse all the garbage. Mm -hmm. Okay, my coffee's ready. Lid on that. Okay, I think it's time to hit the road. So this is how it looks in a supermarket car park under the street lights. The hail effect is less prominent, but the elimination of boot does help with loading and unloading of your shopping. This is the Ionic 5 accessory brochure. And we're just going to go through quickly on what I've already ordered. And you can kind of see the difference between the brochure and what I actually got. And here we just got the mats and different things like um, the dog guards. So the other thing you can get here is the retractable and detachable rear tow bars. For styling we've got the personal touch and this is where the lights come in and there's a little bit of Photoshop trickery here. We can see that we've got the illumination of the halo effect on the tailgate. And it's pretty much similar to what we saw in the video, although I don't think it shows off it illuminating the boot as well in this image. The footwell illumination on the picture here, the diffuse of the light is actually quite even, but it's not quite like that in reality from the video that we've seen, but it still gives that nice sort of effect. Uh, I went for the classic colour, even though they've got a blue light which is a little bit boy racery for me. So I decided to go for the classic one. If I have the Ionic 5N, then maybe the blue might go well with that. So for the comfort range, you've got a coat hanger, iPad holder, and what I find actually might be quite useful is this organizer. Um, I think it'd probably be better than the plastic box that I've been using, and it kind of looks quite nice as well. And it's got like little slots in between to, or little separators in it as well. Next, we have some cleaning and protection products on this page. And lastly, we have a image of the rear boot light again. And there's just a little disclaimer saying it's not factory fitted, all this stuff. And it's just basically accessories that you can buy after you've received your vehicle. Or basically just buy it from the dealers, that is. So this is the bonus mod, which is a free one. And for the eagle-eyed viewers, you'll notice that the icons are in different locations on my car. And basically you can rearrange this how you want. So if you hold on to one of the icons, you'd get this edit screen. You can swipe across and move these around as well. And so you can put the music over this side. So what you also find, uh, let's come out of this. You go into settings, you've got this setting here, and you can do the same here. This vehicle button was on the far left, and getting to it was a bit of a pain. So for now, I can actually just go settings, vehicle, and now I'm in this drive mode, and everything's on the right-hand side. So rather than being biased towards a left-hand drive vehicle, we can actually move the icons to the right-hand side. So I've set it to this star button to be the home screen so I don't need to stretch as far and that will take me back to the top level. So it's similar to pressing the home button on the top left.
If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.